Hello, my dear students, and welcome to our next lesson, which is Effective Management of Information Systems as a part of our Business English course for this class. So let's take a look at it. This is going to be our agenda. First of all, we need to understand a couple of concepts. So we are going to study information systems fundamentals. After, I'm going to share with you a couple of examples of technologies for startups in the module number two, in the third module for management, in the fourth module for services. In the module number five, we are going to take a look at some digital technologies. And in the end, I'm going to share with you a couple of specific concepts for information systems. Competitive intelligence, business model, design thinking, agile methodologies, and the three T's. In our first module, we are going to study information systems fundamentals. Okay, the first four, four concepts that we need to explain here are data, information, process, and knowledge. All these concepts are totally uh, mandatory if we want to understand better all the strategies to develop a software in the future. So data is only raw facts. So it doesn't give us a lot of information. For example, if I put for you the number one without any other information, you don't know anything about it. You just know it is a number, number one. Information is a collection of facts organized in such a way that they have additional value beyond the value of the facts themselves. In other words, if you collect a lot of data and you put them together in order to collect one information or a couple of information from it, then you have information. So, for example, if I put in front of the number one, the letter M, probably you could think that it is one meter. If I put KM, could be one kilometer. So now you have one information, one useful information. Before, you only had data. Now you have information. Okay? The next concept is related to process. So we, when we organize uh, our information in a set of logically related tasks performed to achieve a defined outcome, then we have a process. So to have a well-defined process, we have to have input, process and output. Then you have a process itself. So process is related to input, organization and output. Okay? This is the basic concept to develop a software. And the last one, the last concept is related to knowledge, is awareness and understanding of a set of information. So when you have a lot of information together, uh, well organized and well defined it, then you have knowledge in it. Okay, these are the five for uh, the five first concepts that I want you to know before we move to the next part. One important uh, concept here is related to uh, the accuracy of information. So if information is not accurate or complete, people can make poor decisions costing thousands or even millions of dollars. Of course, if your information is not accurate, uh, it means that you are going to spend some money wrongly. You can uh, spend your money in a wrong way. Okay? So information can be of little value to the organization. If information is not relevant, not delivered uh, to decision makers in a timely fashion, uh, or too complex to understand, these are a couple of problems that we can face in uh, related to information. And I have to tell you, it happens a lot 
inside companies, mainly inside big companies. When you have information that is not relevant or it is not delivered in a timely manner or it is too complex, then you don't have a useful information. You are going to waste your time. Okay, that's why it is so important to deliver information uh, in this uh, in a curate way. Valuable information. First of all, they help people in their organization to perform tasks more effect uh, efficiently and effectively. And also, they help managers uh, to take decisions whether to invest uh, in the information systems and technology and many other things, uh, in departments, in projects, and many other uh, issues, okay, in many other topics. What is an information system? As I have explained it to you before, uh, when we have process, we have inputs and outputs. And when we have input after process or organization of information, transformation of information, and then we have outputs, and or during this process we have the feedback of it, then we have created an information system. Okay, so information systems, all of them are composed by inputs, outputs, uh, inputs, process, outputs, and feedbacks. Okay, the input uh, is the gathering and capturing raw data. So I don't have information here, I only have data. When I convert and transform data into useful outputs or into information, then I have the process. The output is the knowledge or information that I deliver in the end, usually in the form of documents or reports. And I have the feedback sta stage where the output that is used to make uh, changes to inputs or processing uh, activities. Okay, the feedback is how I'm going to send uh, useful information to the other steps of the process, inputs, outputs, uh, and processing. And what is a computer-based information system? It is a single set of hardware, software, databases, tele telecommunications, people and procedures configured to collect, manipulate, store and process data into information. The CBIS components are hardware, which are, uh, is composed by the equipment, software, all the programs, the computer programs, Database is our organized collection of facts and information. And telecommunications, electronic transmission of signals uh, for communications. Continuing now. We have networks. Connect computers and equipment in a building around the country or around the world. Internet, world largest computer network. So an internet is a network. People, they are responsible to manage, run, program, and maintain the systems. Procedures, strategies, policies, methods, and rules for using the CBIS. Another important concept is management information systems. They are organized a collection of people, procedures, software, databases, and devices and they provide a routine information to managers decision makers okay so management information systems are systems or softwares that we use to manage data and information in order to uh, get uh, knowledge from it decision support systems are organized a uh, collection of people procedure softwares databases and devices that support problem-specific decision-making. So, uh, the difference between 
management information systems and decision support systems is that management, uh, the first one, is related to uh, information that we are going to net generate in order to better manage our process. And the second one is more related to a specific uh, problem uh, to take a decision. Okay. Moving on now, we have two really common uh, concepts uh, in the market. The first one is the SCM, Supply Chain Management, and the second one is the CRM, the Customer Relationship Management. The first one helps, to det uh, helps determine what suppliers are required for the value chain and what quantities are needed to meet customers' demand. The second one helps uh, companies uh, to manage all aspects of customer encounters, including marketing and advertising. The first one is related to supply chain and logistics, and the second one is related to sales and customer attendance. Another really useful concept, artificial intelligence. It's a field in which the computer system takes on the characteristics of human intelligent, intelligence. So robotics, vision systems, and natural language processing are examples of uh, where we can use artificial intelligence. And the last concept that we are going to study during the first module, information systems fundamentals, is virtual reality. It is the simulation of a real or imagined environment that can be experienced visually in three dimensions. So, so this is one of the most common modern concepts for uh, information systems. In our next module, we are going to study technologies for startups. The first technology really useful for startups is the e-commerce. Any business trans transaction executed electronically between B2B, B2C, C2C, business to public sectors and customer to public sector. Okay, so the e-commerce is one of the most powerful uh, tools that startups can use in order to improve uh, their sales, their management uh, systems, their strategies, and so on. Here you have a couple of examples uh, of the biggest uh, e-commerce websites in the world. So the AliExpress in, uh, in the Arabic region, the Taobao.com, Walmart, Deiji.com, eBay, Amazon, Flipkart, all of them are the biggest, uh, are, are biggest, uh, big uh, e-commerce websites or companies that can support uh, startups, new startups. The next technology related to development of websites is the WordPress. The WordPress is uh, the end result uh, of uh, a process that will create a, 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 a website, a good website, a professional website for the customers of the startup. So it is an open source content management systems. Uh, which means that anyone can use or modify the WordPress software, software for free. So this is a free tool that every single startup can use, almost free, because you have uh, some, some fees here. But they are really uh, cheap comparing to other types of websites. WordPress is really, really cheap okay, and really useful too. This is the 
the template of WordPress where you can see you have a dashboard uh, where it shows us the images of the templates, the themes, the templates of themes that you can use for free in your website. But you have thousands and thousands and thousands of free templates and themes uh, on the web. Okay? And this is uh, in the left. You can see uh, how you are going to measure, uh, how you are going to manage your website. The posts, the media, the pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings of your website uh, through WordPress. Social media is uh, almost redundant to talk about here because social media nowadays is part of the communication strategy of all company companies. So, as you know, a formal definition is they are uh, interactive computer uh, mediate technologies that facilitate the creation of sharing or sharing of information, ideas, career interests, and other forms of expression via uh, virtual communities and networks. So you have here a couple of examples. So in the network we have forums, we have Google+, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, the texting. When we talk about image sharing we have Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Flickr, Picasa, the blogging, we have WordPress, the Tumblr, Blogger, Twitter as the only example of mi microblogging, video sharing, we have Vimeo, uh, YouTube, Bleep, and we have many others that are not that famous yet, and the collaboration uh, social media examples, the slide share, Wikipedia, Google Docs, Survey Monkey, Prezi, and many others. Okay, so here you have a couple of examples of different types of social media that every single startup can use in order to achieve better results. In the module number three, we are going to discuss technologies for management. Actually, we are going to go deeper into one of the biggest softwares uh, for management ever. So, this is going to be SAP. If you are ready, let's take a look at it. SAP uh, is an ERP, which is an Enterprise Resource Planning Software, that uh, is one of the most popular softwares in the world. They are used for almost, uh, I don't know, but uh, most of the companies, most of the big companies use the software, the SAP. Or in Portuguese, we could say SAP or SAP. Okay, this is really important. And companies like uh, uh, GE, Honeywell, uh, uh, I don't know, um, Microsoft, uh, many different types of companies use this software. The software, the SAP system, consists of a number of fully integrated modules, uh, which covers virtually every aspect of business management, such as HR, such as uh, supply chain management, uh, production, sales, and all the other uh, modules, all the other uh, aspects of business. The very fundamental question for any beginner is why ERP, also called uh, Enterprise Resource Planning, is required. And the answer is here. It is required to better manage your business. The bigger it is, the most complex your management process become. So, here we have to uh, all data uh, interacting. So, inventory, finance, 
HR, shop floor, production planning, sales, customers, vendors, and all this uh, data are going to be centralized by this ERP, which is the SAP in our case. Okay, so to better manage all this data, all the information, all this information, we need to have a system, a software to better manage it. In this part, I have put for you uh, some examples of the modules uh, by SAP. Okay, so uh, all the, the, the acronyms that they use in order to describe the modules and the description. So FI uh, is finance, CO, controlling, TR, treasure, uh, PS, project system, WF, workflow, IS, in the industry solutions, SD, sales and distribution, MM, materials management, PP, production planning, QM, QM, quality management, uh, HCM, human capital management or HR management, FS, financial solutions. And these are all the, uh, the main acronyms that you are going to find if you use SAP. Okay, this is not important to memorize all these topics, of course, my dear students, be calm, keep calm. But it is just to inform you that if you work with it in the future, these are the main modules that you may find inside your company. This is the screen of SAP, the first screen you are going to face to make your login on it. Okay, so you just put your user and your password. Sometimes you can define the language of the system and then you log into uh, SAP. After you log in the SAP, you're gonna face uh, this screen most of times where you need to choose the transaction you're gonna use in order to uh, make your uh, your job. So here you have a couple of transactions, possible transactions, according to the module you are using. Remember, I have showed you two slides before, the, the, the modules that we can have, finance, accounting, uh, production, HR, and for each module that you have access to, you have different types of transactions. transactions. And here you have a couple of examples of these transactions. So, for example, the spare parts transactions, the beverages, uh, production resource and to foods, okay, all these types of transactions that are used. And after you choose your transaction, for example, here I have chosen the change material transaction, you are going to face to the specific stream related to that transaction, where you can uh, fill with all the information needed in order to better manage and uh, in order to send your data uh, to the system. And then with this you can create your reports, uh, your leaders can have good information and knowledge for their strategies to better manage it. Okay? With this we conclude this module talking about SAP. In the module number four, we are going to discuss a little bit about technologies for services. In this module, I'm going to give you a couple of examples of tools that a service uh, company can use in order to better manage uh, their business. Okay? So, in this slide, we have the software providers. Uh, softwares uh, for services providers. So, for example, we can use for email, you can use the G Suite or Gmail. For video conferencing, we can use the Zoom, Skype, uh, Google Hangouts, Google Meet, Flock. For project management, you can use Trello and Azena. 
they are really useful and also Google Drive and for file and document management we can use Google Drive as I have mentioned before or Dropbox for note-taking apps we can use Evernote or TotalWest for scheduling we can use Doodle or Calendly for recruitment process we can use LinkedIn Recruiter AngelList we also could use websites uh, free websites such as Vagas.com to communicate our brand our positions learning and development LinkedIn also uh, uses uh, some learning tools and inside LinkedIn uh, learning you can find a lot of trainings and development programs and also I could mention Udemy where you can find free courses related to the all the, the, the subjects that you might face you have free courses there. For payments, you can use PayPal, Stripe, or Amazon payments. Obviously, you could use your own credit card or other types of pay machines. For website host, we can use GoDaddy and SiteGround. And finally, for website builders, we can use WordPress or Wix. They are really intuitive. You have a lot of resources online that you might use, that you could use if you need it, in order to better improve your sales, your strategies, the communication of your brand. And for designing tools, we could use Adobe Creative Cloud or Canva, which is a website to easily create uh, some designing, uh, some design uh, images or communication brands, communication uh, strategies, uh, posts, and many different types of things, right? In this module, the most important thing was related to giving you, providing you tools uh, useful to create your own company, to use for service companies, for your strategy, okay? This is not related to business English vocabulary, but it is more practical, focused on results, focused on practical tools related to information systems. In this short module number five, we are going to discuss digital technologies. Okay, guys, so here you have a, a, a circle, uh, really uh, actual. This picture came from 2017, so it's totally new. And it is mainly related to the Industry 4.0, which is a, a, a new thing that is coming up, uh, that uh, in which we can discuss a lot of different types of uh, good vocabulary for business English related to uh, information systems technologies. The first one is mobile devices related to digital uh, to industry 4.0. In this part, we are, uh, we are in the part of, uh, how could I say to you, data and analytics uh, capability. Okay, so mobile devices, IoT platforms, location detecno, uh, detection technologies nowadays such as Google uh, Google what is the name of it I don't remember but uh, Google location I think this is the one right so the advanced human machine interfaces which is people are trying to connect memory from human beings to ships or technologies creating some human robots or something like this authentication and fraud detection through your digital through your uh, eyes or skin blood you have many different types of things like this studies about it 
The 3D printing, which is one of the most incredible inventions, in my personal opinion. As you know it, you can develop uh, prototypes or even products using this type of printings, printing machines. Smart sensors, uh, big data analytics and advanced algorithms in order to better analyze big quantities of data. Uh, the multi-level customer interaction and customer uh, profiling. The argument rely, uh, reality uh, wearables and cloudy computing. Okay, I'm sorry about my pronunciation and some words because they are quite new for me. But all of them are really useful vocabulary and modern vocabulary when we talk about technology, okay? So please, study this slide because it is really important for your common vocabulary to understand the concepts, not just for business English, but also for business at all, okay? So this is really important. The tip is given here. In our module number six, we are gonna uh, summarize all the concepts and also we are gonna learn vocabulary related to competitive intelligence, business model, and many others. What is CI? Competitive intelligence. It is the systematic collection and analysis of information from multiple sources and a coordinated CI program. It is the action of defining, gathering, analyzing and distributing intelligence about products, uh, customers, competitors and any aspect of the environment needed to support executives and managers in strategic decisions making for an organization. In other words, or simple words, it is related to technologies or softwares that are going to help uh, executives to better manage their business through uh, advanced systems or advanced softwares. CI means understanding and learning what is happening in the world outside the business to increase one's competitiveness. Uh, competitive intelligence is a legal business practice as opposed to industrial espionage, which is illegal. So, uh, competitive intelligence is a matter of uh, trying to identify uh, strategic information coming from the market, coming from the external uh, market uh, of the company. So you go to the market, you anal analyze data, big quantity of data, huge amount of data, in order to try to get some trends or strategic information from the market, is studying uh, market information, external market information. That's why it is not uh, espionage, because the information is available in the market. You just go there, collect there, organize them, and just... Uh, try to find your own uh, information. Okay, so the focus here is on the external business environment. Here you have a couple of um, uh, uh, parts of the, the, the competitive CI that you can uh, go to get information from. Markets, products, industries, vendors, customers, and competitors. Okay, so these are types of examples. Uh, these are examples of types of uh, CI uh, strategies or uh, places to get information from that you can use in order to create your CI um, strategy. Moving on now to the business model. Business model is how we organize our strategy to better uh, understand our things, our thoughts. So, in a formal way, a business model describes the rational of how an organization creates, delivers, and captures uh, value. 
in economic, social, cultural, and other contexts. Okay, so it is how we are going, going to organize everything in order to better understand uh, how we are going to, to present our strategy, strategy to the others and for ourselves, obviously. Here, uh, my personal recommendation for you, one of the most popular and common ways to create a business model is using the Canvas model which is, uh, was proposed by Alexander uh, Auswater uh, based on his book. Okay, so it outlines nine segments which form uh, the building blocks for the business model in a nice one-page canvas. So we are going to combine all our thoughts, all our uh, ideas, our strategy itself, in uh, in nine segments in only on, in only one single page. Okay, I'm gonna show you for those who don't know it, and then it's going to be more clear for you. Okay, guys. So this is the business model canvas, as you can see here. It is uh, only one single page where you are going to organize in these five segments all your thoughts, all the main thoughts the main uh, information you need to have about your, your business strategy, okay? Moving on now, we are going to discuss a little bit about Agile methodologies. So, this is a project management methodology characterized by building products that customers really want using short cycles of work. This is really important that allow for rep production and constant revision if necessary. Agile uh, is a process by which uh, a team can manage a product by breaking it up into several, uh, several stages and involving constant collaboration with stakeholders and continuous improvement and interaction uh, at every, st every stage. Okay. So the Agile is a matter of uh, velocity, is a matter of speed, okay? So you are going to make it simple in order to have your steps well-defined and uh, to uh, create your product much faster than it's supposed to be, okay? So it begins with cl uh, clients describing how the end product will be clarifying uh, the customer's expectation to the product team. This is the second step. After you do it, the team cycle through a process of planning, executing and evaluating it. Okay. And continuous uh, collaboration is key, of course, during this process because you, it's going to be really fast. So the roles of each one needs to be, uh, need to be well defined into the full process in order to achieve a good result. So the Agile methodology is a matter of speed, okay? Here you have the, the, life, the Agile cycle, Agile life cycle. In the beginning, you have the requirements understanding and Agile scrum planning. After, we, do, we have the phase of development. We have three phases of development which composes the integrate and test part. In the number four, we have the release of this product. And we, in the last one, we have the user acceptance of it. Obviously, we are going to reveal it during the process. If it is accepted, uh, then we release the product to the market after the test. If it's not uh, accepted, then we make the, 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 the incorporation of changes, adjustments, and the next uh, iteration, okay? And obviously, after we can start over again our process of Agile, of the Agile life cycle. Good. Okay, guys, pretty good. Moving out to the end of our presentation. The last part of our presentation is related to team technology and transaction, the three T's of every single uh, software development team. If we want to summarize 
all the key aspects to increase uh, your change to get angel investments, then we can uh, call them the three T's, team or talent, technology and transaction. Nowadays there are seven T's, of course, but here we are going to discuss on these three ones. Okay, guys, this is all for this presentation. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions related to information systems vocabulary inside Business English vocabulary, just let me know. And I can share with you a couple of uh, extra information if it's needed. And I'm available if you need me, okay? So, this is all for today. I'm sorry, today is really noisy here, so I don't know what is happening outside uh, my house. But I'm sorry for this, okay? This is part of our job. So thank you very much, guys, and have a really nice study. Bye!